Something special Hello everybody, today presentation of the OMET TrueSmet smartwatch. This is an Android smartwatch with call function. You insert a SIM card here and there's a speaker and microphone you can make call, receive message, edit message, there is a GPS function. 5 megapixel camera. This smartwatch is very useful to do sports activity, running, cycling, with a GPS, with a sport application like Strava, Runtastic. It's very useful. But there's a problem. If you are like me, uh, Bluetooth, low energy. Earth monitoring, you can see the Bluetooth Earth monitoring. With this model, there is 4.2 Android. So, 4.2 Android version is not compatible with low Bluetooth low energy. So, impossible to use this item. But there's a solution. The solution is to install the new firmware. It's coming from a smartwatch, the Ironman smartwatch. And this model of smartwatch is with KitKat Android version. And it's possible to port KitKat Android into this watch. I will show you how it's working in this video. First, when you open a watch, you can see the new clock, Ironman clock. And you can see inside watch with all item. I installed some application, look you can see all my application. Let's see the Android version. I can, can see the setting. The setting is totally complete. It's very useful. Let's see about form. You can see the Android version 4.4.2. It's KitKat 4.4.2 Android version in the OMET TrueSmart. There is very useful ap application to use this version, like the battery life. Battery life is better. The Wi-Fi and the 3G signal is better too. But to use your earth monitor sensor, it's the best thing. I will show you this. I installed my monitor now. Let's install it. Okay, I installed it. And let's open a sport application. This is my sport application. There is a uh, overs, of course. I open Bluetooth in the watch, so Bluetooth is open. And automatically you can see my Earth Pulse. Okay, it's in live. You can see in live my Earth Pulse with my Earth monitoring low energy Bluetooth 4.0. So, I am ready for running. I have got my heart monitor, I've got my speed and my distance. And at the end of my trip, I just stop and I all parameters of my trip. It's very, very useful. So, if you want 
To use it, I recommend you to install this 4.4.2 version of Android for OMS Rusmat. It's very, very interesting. You can, you have other things like this to close all application in one click. You have all function of Android. You can adjust uh, data, adjust Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, uh, and the battery life is really better. If I use my watch uh, with not a lot of function, uh, I can. I can stay two days without charging. But there's only two things. If you install this uh, KitKat Android version, you lose sensor, gyroscopic sensor, for example. You lose sensor. Personally, I don't use uh, sensor, so it's not a problem for me. But you have to know, if you install 4.4 version, you lose sensor. The installation is very simple. I will show you the address to, to find this firmware and to install it. You just need a personal computer with flash tool on the firmware and you can install very simply this firmware. All instructions are given on the link. I will show you the link. Let's uh, do a rapid uh, review. The camera function, for example. See, it's working very well. Okay. Yeah. Play Store is working very well too. No problem, you can install all application you, you need. The best thing is sitting. Sitting are totally complete. It's very interesting. You can see. Personally, I use a micro SD quad, a 16 gigabit uh, quad. You can see all the seating, all in the seating, you can see storage, for example. You can see my, uh, my quad here. Some application I install in the watch. Another interesting thing with this firmware, with KitKat firmware for Ometrusmat, is the recovery. Recovery is installed in, with this firmware. After power off the watch, press home on power, stay pressing, and you're waiting. And now you just have to press power. And you go in recovery mode. You can see here the recovery. So you can install new ROM, you can backup, you can restore, you can do a lot of things. So it's very, very useful too. Let's reboot to system. You can see this firmware is really make for you OMAT and it's working very well. No problem, just 
problem with the sensor, no sensor with this firmware, but if you need, don't need sensor, it's not a problem for you. So conclusion for this uh, new firmware. I highly recommend it because it's a uh, better version of Android. It's uh, very good for battery life. It's very good for Bluetooth. It's very good for Wi-Fi, 3G connection. So I recommend you to install it. I hope this video show you the thing you have to, to know and uh, stay connected to if you have question no problem I uh, I try to answer your question no, sorry for my English too because I'm from French so my English is not very very good I try to explain things and if you have question contact me Okay, so uh, goodbye guys, see you soon for another test. It was my test of the OMET Rusmet with a new firmware, KitKat firmware 4.4.2. Bye!